What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to a Football Manager 2018 video and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick overview of the Football Manager 2018 Steam Workshop. If you don't know what the workshop is, it's a platform that allows you to share and download Football Manager files for your games. This can include tactics, custom squad views, shortlists, databases, you name it, just about any custom file in Football Manager can be uploaded and downloaded on the workshop. And in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get them into your game. So anyway, the first thing to do is come to the main menu in Football Manager and click Downloads. It'll load up this quick overview here. As you can see, there is a Steam Workshop tab. We want to click on that. And uh, once this is loaded, we're going to click on this button here, Download Add-ons Directly from Steam. Just a quick thing, uh, you can access the Steam Workshop, as you see here, uh, from the Steam Client or the Steam website. Uh, that may well work for you, and if you do decide to do it through the Steam Client rather than loading it up in-game, it should work fine. If it doesn't, uh, I recommend you unsubscribe from items and resubscribe to them in-game. I do know for some people it does sometimes cause a bit of problems, and I know that doing it this way in-game is the most reliable way. So if you're having any problems, problems with files not appearing, um, I recommend unsubscribing from them and then kind of resubscribing for, from them in game like this. So anyway, in this as you can see here, there's a load of different files, you can filter by different types, if we want to look at squad views, you can see all the different views here, if you want to look at shortlists, you can filter it so that there are just shortlists showing. And all in all, uh, the workshop's a great place to get add-on files. If you're wanting to get my files specifically, if you just search here in the top right, work the space with no spaces ironically, uh, you can see here that there is a list of all the different files that I have uploaded to the Steam Workshop. So anyway, as I said today, I'm going to show you how to get these in game. So assuming you found a few files you like, you're going to click on them and uh, once you load them up, you are going to click the subscribe button. As you can see, I am already subscribed to this item. If I just unsubscribe and hit subscribe again, you can see this item has been added to my subscriptions. Uh, Football Magic shouldn't require you to relaunch them before the item downloads. However, if you do have problems, um, for sure, you know, reload Steam. Sometimes you have to restart your PC. The Steam Workshop, generally speaking, is quite flawless. If you do have issues with files appearing, it can become a little bit troublesome. And I recommend, if you do have problems, you, of course, go to the Sports Interactive forums. But, fingers crossed, touch wood, the majority of users, it works fine. So, anyway, we're going to just subscribe to a few files. So, we'll subscribe to my 4 free free tactic. We'll subscribe to this item here, my squad profile view. There's a few different views here. You can see we've got uh, the training squad view that I use in-game. Some of these you may not have even seen in videos, but I certainly recommend all of them. And the last thing we'll subscribe to will be my Best Wonder Kids Complete shortlist. As you can see, I'm actually already subscribed to it. But this this uh, item here, some of you may have seen my Wonder Kid videos previously around the beta. I have revisited them. I've made new lists. They have hundreds of players now. It's a lot more detailed. All the players are 21 years old and younger. And if you load up every single nation and load up the complete Wonder Kids, kids shortlist this one here there's over 1000 players so yeah it's it's a pretty big database and a pretty big shortlist for you to check out so anyway we're subscribed to this it should appear in game so once you've got all the files you want and you've hit subscribe uh, you can now load up your save just as a little thing if we actually just close this real quick and uh, close my achievements because that doesn't matter uh, when you subscribe to stuff and it's downloaded successfully you'll be able to see it listed here this does also include files that you have locally but if we just have a look uh, you can see here stuff like the team profile view has now appeared so yeah it's pretty good just to be aware of the fact uh, that you can see what has successfully downloaded on this page so once we've done that, we are going to load up just any old save game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load up shortlist, custom squad views, and tactics. There are a few other types of files. Um, they all follow a very similar pattern, so I'm hoping by showing you a few of them, um, I can leave you to your own devices to get other views that you may want. So for custom squad views, the thing you're going to do is you're going to come to this drop down here on the squad page. You're going to go to custom, and then you're going to go to import view. Clicking on here, you can see it's all loading up. Uh, it will process a little bit. And then within here, we can see all the different files. Now, the ones that have kind of this little clipboard, they are local files that are on your machine. The ones that look like a download icon, those are ones we're subscribed to on the Steam Workshop. So if we want to load, for example, uh, my... Uh, let's go with Training Squad View. If we hit load here, it now loads in this view. It's successfully imported. I use this view just to see how training is going with players. It quickly allows me at a glance to see how training is going. 
And if you want to switch between views, you go to the custom tab and you can see here there are all the different views here. There are a few other views I've got for you. Uh, you can get the squad view on the Steam Workshop, which is this one here. I kind of consider this the essential view. I feel like it has all the important information you could ever want at a glance. And I do also have a squad profile view here, which is something that I used years ago. But with Team Dynamics coming into it, I feel like having stuff like the hierarchy, uh, player happiness, the personalities, just all on one page is particularly useful. So anyway, let's talk about shortlists now and how to get them in game. To do that, we're going to go to the scouting tab here. We're then going to go to the shortlist tab at the top. And then within here, we're going to click on the cog. And well, you're going to see an emerging trend here. We hit import shortlist. And within here, we should have all of our downloaded files, if I'm not mistaken. Or in fact, it's not import. I've lied. It's load. I mean, consistency, a non-existent thing. But yeah, you can see within here, we have all of the files that we've downloaded to, including the complete collection, which if we just hit load on here, you can see with just England loaded for this example save, there are 590 Wonder Kids, and there's certainly some bargains to be found in here as well. So there you go. Uh, that is shortlists. Last but not least, perhaps the most complicated one, custom tactics. To do this, you're going to obviously go to the tactics screen. You're going to click on this drop down in the top right. You're going to go to manage tactics this time. You're going to click load. From here, it's going to show us a list of all the different tactics that we have from other saves, as well as the ones we've downloaded from the Steam Workshop. Again, Workshop ones will have this special type icon on the left. Once you've selected it, you just hit load, and uh, then you're going to hit it in the list of managed tactics that it's been added to. Click OK, and then from the drop down, if we just revisit it, you can now see that the 433 fluid attack is now existing and quickly and easily you can get it into your own game. So there you go guys, that's just a quick little guide on the Steam Workshop. You can also access it from the FM tab on the main menu if you don't want to go out of game. I can't say I've ever done anything this way and as I mentioned, the Workshop can sometimes be a little temperamental. Um, so I do recommend that if you're doing it, you do it via the main menu. I do hope you found this video useful. I will leave a link down in the description to where you can find all of my Workshop items. As I said, there's a lot here, there's certainly some that are worth checking out. I'm going to have videos on a few of them coming your way in the very near future, which I hope you guys are looking forward to. If you do use any of the files, of course, rate them up. It does greatly help me out. You can also follow me on the Steam Workshop. So if you want to see more items coming your way soon, um, you get them kind of notified immediately. And uh, yeah, that is going to be all from me. I do hope this video was useful. If it was, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe, of course, if you're new around here. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.